Well, a wonderful way to give back to our community to help people stay warm during these cold winter season. Teacher Funeral Home is partnering with local hospice agencies for a program called Socks of Love. Laura Graham is here with all of the details and of course she brought Richie along with her today and we love having you on the show. Thank you. But we, you know, we're <laughs> kind of love because you bring such a special friend. Everybody loves Richie. Yes, they do. That's, That's why you like to have me because of Richie Doodle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to give a quick shout out to his special friends, the firefighters at Station 5 on Brawls Drive. I have to take him to tell them good morning on the way to work just about every day or he just is not a happy dog. And really? also to Cassie Blankenship, his beloved uh, doggy daycare <laughs> lady and groomer, and to the residents of the tower at Abundant Christian Living. He's become their pet now. Richie is pretty, yeah. pretty spoiled. He has He's a, a fan superstar. Club. Oh, uh, yes, he does. <laughs> Including here at the station, he comes in and everybody says, Richie here today? Yeah. He is, yes. And earlier he was sitting up like, which camera am I on? <laughs> Which camera? <laughs> He's a ham. Well, let's talk about Socks of Love. Okay. I know you guys do so many different community outreach programs, right. and this is something new you've come up this with. This is brand new. We have never uh, done this before. What happened was I was at Avalon Hospice one day, and one of the social workers approached me uh, to join with a program called, so we named it Socks of Love. They, all of the hospice social workers have discovered many uh, nursing home patients now have no family to see after them or to bring them the little things they need to be comfortable. And many of the nursing home patients have cold feet and it's hard for them to sleep if you have cold feet because mm -hmm. a lot of that is due to circulation. Okay. So all of the hospice agencies in, the, in Johnson City and Elizabethton have joined together uh, to do this as a joint effort to do a fundraiser. We're just asking people to donate a pair of socks um, to the Socks of Love program. We'll be running it this month through February the 10th. We'll have collection um, containers at Tetrick Funeral Home in Elizabethton, okay. Tetrick Funeral Services in Johnson City, and um, at Amedesis in Elizabethton, Karis, um, hospice, um, Avalon Hospice, and Ballad Hospice in their four years. Okay, and we've got those donation sites just right there. So you've got the barrels set up so they can just come on in, drop off these yeah. socks. And I mean, how heartbreaking, Laura, when you said that all yes. they want is a pair of warm socks, socks. to keep their feet Yes, warm. and these aren't even their patients. These are just people, these are nursing home patients that they have encountered when they've been in the nursing mm -hmm. homes. And they're all very concerned about uh, about the care of these people that have no one really to care for them anymore. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Yeah, it is. And so we can help out any particular kind of sock or just? Any, any pair of socks, footies, anything to help keep their feet warm. And what we're going to do, we're coming together on February 10th and then we will uh, separate all the socks out and then we're taking them to the nursing home uh, directors to distribute them to the people that will need them. Well, and I know that, you know, Christmas is over and one of the big things that I think a lot of us probably got in our stockings or at some point right. during the Christmas holiday is that pair of warm, fuzzy, fuzzy. socks. Yes. And it's just our, you know, it's our favorite. And I'm thinking about different places that also have, you know, the world's softest socks. Over and we there. don't even think about someone in need of no. a pair of socks. And if that's all they need, yeah. and I mean, go to you the know, dollar store. I was going to say January is a tough month for yeah. donations, but we can do socks. You can go to the dollar store and get a socks for a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> okay, there you go. All right, we're going to give everybody the information. As she said, this fundraiser is going through February the 10th. All of these different donation spots. You can also call the number on your screen for more information. It is the Socks of Love Sock Drive. And Laura, thank you. And thank Richie, you. we've worn Richie out. It's nap <laughs> time for Richie. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs>